Today, I'm going to show you the live version of setting the defaults um, in LT Spice, just so you can follow along if the other tutorial wasn't working for you. So, first thing we want to do is set our schematic backgrounds to white. Now, I've already done that. The way to do our backgrounds is to go to Tools, Color Preferences, and right here in Schematic, right, I can click on Background. And I can turn everything to different colors, as you can see. And of course, if I turn it to black, you can't see anything because uh, I usually set the, the components to black. So I'll put this back to white. Okay. And I can press Apply. Now, some other things I like to do is... Um, Usually the wires and the default come blue, but I like to keep them black, so I set all those to black. And then junctions are the little solder dots, okay? And those might start out blue and default. I like to keep it all black so it's easy to read. Then you, when we ultimately start doing waveforms, we want to make those clear, and you can click on background for that and set everything to white. Now, final thing is that, um, oops, let me rechange that. As you'll notice, my font is a lot bigger than what comes out in the default. The way to change that is to click on the control panel. And in waveforms, I like to plot the data with thick lines, use the Arial font at 14 bold. That way it comes out um, very easy to see. And then to do the schematic, you do the drafting options, although I like 30 aerial bold for that. You might have to do this every time on the computers um, in lab. I don't know if it'll sync it to your account or not. But the bottom line, um, it's a great, this is a good first stop in making legible documentation. Now, if you want to put this in another program, you can go to Tools, Copy Bitmap to clipboard, and I'll do that right now, and I'm just going to add a new slide. Now when I add it in, it's too big, so I go size and position, and I'm just going to shrink it to four inches. Keep the aspect ratio locked, okay, because that way it scales nicely. If I were to do this again, And now I'm going to scale the width to something by this and not lock the aspect ratio. Um, well, it's a little hard to see. But what if I, I'm saying I could get weird things that don't look quite right. It's best to up, uh, update the, uh, just keep the aspect ratio locked. Let me undo that. Now, if you see this image, you'll notice that I've got a lot of white space around it that covers up a lot of things. It's actually a lot better to scale it in LT Spice ahead of time, you can minimize it, where there would be a lot of white space. Now I can just say that's, that's a nice figure, you can see everything. And now tools, copy the image to clipboard. I can put it right in there and it, it looks great. Uh, so that's how to document your designs in LT Spice.